al mulk the supreme power, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Blessed is he who holds complete supreme power. He is the possessor of prudential power to do every desired thing. It is he who has created death and life so that he may reward you after trying you as to which of you excels in doing good deeds. He is the Almighty, the Great Protector. It is he who has created seven heavens, one upon another, in conformity with each other. You can see no flaw, no incongruity, and no imperfection in the creation of the Most Gracious God. Then look up once more to heaven. Do you see any flaw? Look again, and yet again, to find out any confusion in divine law. The result will only be that your eye will return to you dazzled while it is weary, and you will be unable to find any discordance. We have certainly adorned the lowest heaven with star-like lamps and we have made them as means of conjecture for the evil ones and the astrologers who invent good or bad omens from the movement of the stars. Remember, we have prepared for these soothsayers the punishment of the blazing fire, and there awaits the punishment of Jehenna for those who disbelieve in their Lord. What a horrid resort it is! When they are cast therein, they will hear its roaring and a loud moaning while it heaves up boiling with them. It almost burst with the intense fury of the fire. As often as a host of wrongdoers is cast into it, its wardens will ask them, Did no warner come to you from your Lord? They will say, No doubt, a warner did come to warn us, but... We cried lies to him, and we said, Allah has revealed nothing. You are only in great error. And they will add, If we had only listened and tried to understand, we would not have been among the inmates of the blazing fire this day. They will thus confess to their sins when confession will be of no use, and the inmates of the blazing fire are far removed from God's mercy. Verily, as to those who hold their Lord in awe in their heart of hearts, there awaits them protection against lapses and a great reward. O people, whether you conceal your thoughts or speak them openly, it makes little difference to him, for he knows well the innermost secrets of the hearts. Does he who has created all things not know his own creation? He knows all that is abstruse and subtle, and is all aware. He it is who has made the earth smooth and subservient to you for your benefit, so traverse far and deep into its spacious paths for your spiritual and material advancement, and thus by active labor eat of his sustenance and enjoy his gifts. To him will you all return after your having been raised to life. Do you feel secure from him who is overhead to you all, thinking that he may leave you downtrodden in the earth and may cause it to sink with you when all of a sudden it begins to shake? Do you feel secure from him who reigns in the heaven above you, seeing that he may send a violent storm, raising dust and pebbles on you? Look, you shall soon realize how true was my warning. And certainly their predecessors treated my messengers to them as liars. Then see how destructive was my disapproval at their denial. Have they not seen above them the birds with spread out wings in flight, which they also draw in to swoop down on the prey? None but the most gracious God holds them there. Verily, he has knowledge of each and every thing. Or who is it that can serve as an army to help you against the most gracious God if he intends to do you harm? 
the disbelievers are only laboring under a misconception in thinking to baffle the cause of God. Or who is it that will provide sustenance for you if he withholds his gifts? The fact is that they persist in transgression and are running away from the truth. Is he who goes groveling on his face better guided, or he who walks upright on a straight and right path? Say, it is he who has brought you into being, and made for you ears to hear, eyes to see, and hearts to understand, yet little thanks do you give. Say, it is he who has multiplied you in the earth, and to him you shall all be gathered. And they say to the Muslims, When will this threat be executed if you are truthful in your assertions? Say, The knowledge of the time of its occurrence is with Allah. I am only a plain warner. But when they see it nigh, the faces of those who disbelieve will wear a grieved look. And it will be said to them, this is what you used to ask for so persistently. Say, Have you considered if Allah destroys me and those who are with me, my companions of faith? Rather, he will have mercy on us. Who is there to protect the disbelievers from a woeful punishment? For the guilty will, all the same, reap the fruit of their evil deeds. Say, He is the most gracious God. In him have we believed, and in him have we put our trust. And you will soon know which one of us is in manifest error. Say, have you considered if all your water were to disappear in the depths of the earth, who then will bring you pure flowing water?